Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Gripper back here with another video for you guys today. In this video, I'm going to be explaining why I believe 2022 Tops Update can potentially end up being a better set than the coveted and beloved 2018 Tops Update. So if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like. Let's try to shoot for about... 60 likes. Can we get 60 likes on this video? Uh, let's try for that and leave your comments as usual down in the comment section below. And if you're brand new, hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell for all future uh, uploads on the channel. We upload every single day here. Haven't missed an upload since I believe I started uploading daily, which was like in March or maybe even February. So yeah, um, without further ado, uh, let's just get into it um a lot of you guys are probably saying this guy's probably crazy for thinking this right well i mean i think a lot of people might actually agree with me on this i mean let's see right so in 2018 update let's go all the way back to 2018 first we had the likes of juan soto shohei otani and ronald acuna jr all receiving base rookie cards in update now although Shohei has had rookie cards before that um I believe I know for a fact he had a rookie card in opening day of 2018 I I remember pulling it it was like him in the press conference room a lot of you guys may recognize the picture if you guys know what I'm talking about um I believe he had a card in series one and Series 2 of 2018 as well. And, of course, he had one of Chrome. And he had all these other rookie cards, right? But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the other two. Ronald Acuna Jr. and Juan Soto. Ronald Acuna Jr., if you guys forget, I'll give you a little history lesson, had a short print, a super short print, bat down in 2018 Series 2. So pretty much think of it as this year's Julio Rodriguez, okay? He had a short print or a super short print in Series 2. And Ronald Acuna Jr. had a super short print bat down. So the bat, when he was swinging, was pointing down like his after swing in Series 2 of 2018. So, and then we get to Juan Soto. Juan Soto is the most inter uh, interesting uh, player because... Um, I'm just going to pull some Juan Soto cards here for you guys. I have my stack over here. I collected a lot of 2018 update. If you guys probably can't tell by the Juan Soto little collection I have here. This is considered Juan Soto's true rookie card right here. 2018 update, okay? Prior to 2018 update, Juan Soto had one singular rookie card. And that was, I believe, in Heritage High Number. Of course... Heritage High Number used to come out in, like, August, but as of, I guess, well, last year it even came out in August, I believe, as well. Uh, this year, it doesn't come out until, like, November 30th, which is ridiculous, but, um, yeah, so Juan Soto's first rookie card is in 2018 uh, Tops Heritage, and this was his second rookie card. He didn't have any other rookie cards leading up to this, aside from the Heritage High Number, okay? Now this brings me to 2022 Tops Update, which I believe Tops intentionally put all these good rookies in this set for a particular reason, because like I said a couple videos ago, right, typically with Update, you only get like three good rookies, like an Update in 2018, Soto, Acuna, and Otani, right? But then you also have your supporting cast, right? You know, all good scripts in a movie have their good supporting roles, right? And let's let's use this for an example. 2018 update. Shane Bieber, Glaber Torres. And I'm sure I'm missing somebody. Uh, oh, yeah, Ozzy Albies. Another one, Ozzy Albies. So there. There's three supporting cast members with three main characters in that set, okay? Now let's go to 2022 update. Widely considered the most anticipated set this year. Why? Because Tops just absolutely, I think intentionally, loaded this set up with all the good rookie cards who 
don't have a primary rookie card yet. For example, Seiya Suzuki. Seiya Suzuki hasn't had a singular tops base rookie card yet, and it's insane because you would think he would have been in Series 2, but they kept him out to put him in update. CJ Abrams, who was a Padre, now a national in the Juan Soto trade, hasn't seen a mainline rookie card yet, aside from a couple uh, exclusive sets like Gallery and Fire. Okay. Hunter Green, probably the second best pitching uh, rookie this year behind Spencer Strider. Strider has a rookie in Series 2, but he will have a rookie debut, which we're going to get into in a minute here. Uh, Strider, or I should say uh, Hunter Green, um, also never had a mainline rookie card, except that short print in Chrome, as well as the exclusive Fire and um, Gallery sets, right? And then we have our, those are the supporting cast. Now we have our main players. Our main players, obviously, are going to be Julio, Torkelson, and Witt. As well as, I'm going to put in here, Stephen Kwan. Stephen Kwan, I believe, is too good to leave out of the supporting cast uh, column because I believe since the playoffs and, you know, the he had a great playoffs, by the way. If you saw his stats in the playoffs, I believe he had a decent playoffs. He had a couple big at-bats that led to a couple RBIs and things like that. So I believe his value has only gone up since the playoffs. Obviously, the Guardians are now eliminated. But, again, we have a lot of supporting characters in this um 2022 update set as well as like i just mentioned rookie debut cards what is that well basically if a rookie has had his card in series one or series two for example o'neill cruz and wander franco they will get a debut card and let's see if i can find where i have mine um i have a acuna rookie debut gold foil from update 2018 if i can find it that is um i have literally no idea where i put it i just had it oh wait, it could be over here um if i can't find it then i i can't find it but oh here it is okay perfect i found it okay so they're also going to have these cards right here okay you see how it says rookie debut on the card and it gives you the date of his first major league appearance right all the rookies, including the new ones in update this year, will have that card. So, not only will the main cast and supporting roles all have new rookie cards that we have never seen before, they will also have rookie debuts, which is essentially the second uh, rookie card of that person. So, typically, unless it's a parallel like you see here with the Acuna, um... Rookie debuts sell for about half of what the normal card would sell for. But again, if you had a big parallel like this one right here, then we're talking some money. But here's the thing, right? This set is so loaded, it can, and I think it will over time, overpower 2018 update. Because not only do we have six rookie cards in this set who have never seen a rookie card yet, we're also getting an additional... Uh, six with them as the rookie debuts, as well as all the Series 1 and Series 2 rookie debuts. So you're looking at, in update alone, six new rookies times two, that's 12 new rookie cards, as well as inserts for them, and update, or I should say, rookie debut cards for all Series 1 and Series 2 people. So I'm telling you guys, when I know the short, or I should say the print runs for this stuff are going to be through the roof, and that's okay. But here's the thing. This, I don't think, is going to end up being junk wax. I, I, This is probably going to be one of Top's best sets in the last five years because they overloaded this set, I believe, intentionally, if I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, because we have never seen a packed update before like this. And like I said, typically you get three good rookie cards in a set, an update. Never do you typically see more than three, maybe four, in 2018, we can kind of put Shane Bieber in that because Shane Bieber has turned out to be a great ace for the Indians or the Guardians. But, you know, he's a pitcher. Pitcher cards don't typically have a lot of value to them unless it's someone like a Nolan Ryan or something like that. But, um, you know, with all of these new rookie cards, like, here's what we're going to have to bank on, right? Here's what we have to 
bet on with 2022 update. In 2018, there are three powerful rookie cards, which we all just went over. Shohei Acuna and Juan Soto. We have to hope for three players in this set to match their value. And I think that can definitely happen. I mean, I think we already got one in Julio. Julio, in my opinion, has already matched the value of, let's say, maybe, I don't know, in Acuna maybe, because Acuna really had a down year. So, I mean, I, I, what are we going to look for here? What we're looking for is just two more players, or three, to really outperform in this set to make it so that it's the equivalent to 2018 update. And I think it's going to happen. Who's it going to be? I don't know. If I had to take a guess, I'm going to bet one is going to be Stephen Kwan. I think Stephen Kwan is going to be a great player for the Indians. Or, <laughs> I keep on saying Indian Guardians for a very long time. And I'm going to put maybe... I'm going to... Mm, I don't know. It's either going to be... I don't want to put Torkelson in there yet because Torkelson had a very bad season. I mean, I'm sorry, Tigers fans, but he had a very bad season. Uh, I'm going to probably put Bobby Witt in that category to do well. I think he is going to be a great player. Uh, I really do. So right there, I think we have our three main rookies, as well as, like I said, Hunter Green. Although pitcher cards don't typically sell well, I believe he's going to be a great player or a great pitcher for the Reds. Why? Because look at the division he's in. He's in probably the weakest division in Major League Baseball, the National League Central, which is, of course, my division because I'm a Pirates fan, you know. So I think right then and there, those guys, I believe, will make this set good. And, of course, obviously, you could say, well, the, sh well, the print runs are going to make it so that it decreases in value. And you're right to an extent. But I believe if these players perform well over time and this set is like three or four years old, like you always see in with 2018 update right now, I have no reason to believe this set won't be just as valuable. Now, of course, like 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 I said, print runs will cause a factor in that. Whatever the print run's gonna be, which I assume it might be between one and two, so I don't know. I think the print run for series two is 750,000 per card, and series one is one million plus. Uh, I, I'm not sure on the numbers on that, but if I had to make a guess, I think it'll be in between the middle of that somewhere. I don't know where. Um, but typically in years past, Update is the shortest printed out of all of them. So I don't know if they're going to go with that pattern or gonna or they're going to, um, you know, try something different. I mean, this is Fanatics now we're talking about. This ain't old top, so I have legit no idea. But let me know what you guys think. I'm really curious to see what you guys have to think about this. If you guys, I'm telling you, if you see blasters of this stuff in the store, buy it. Like, seriously, buy it. Because if the true collectors don't get their hands on this stuff, I believe scalpers are going to just scalp all this up. I'm telling you, it's coming. And if scalpers know how good this set's going to be, they have no reason not to buy it all and try to resell it. So if you see, depending on how much money you have, I'm not saying you have to buy all of it. Buy a couple blasters. You know, it ain't going to hurt you. And keep some sealed. I'm going to keep some sealed. I'm definitely probably going to uh, keep uh, probably like three or four, maybe five blasters sealed of this stuff. And just to see how the market acts a couple months, maybe to a year down the road, if, you know, these players perform really well next year, which I think they're going to. Especially O'Neill Cruz. But O'Neill Cruz ain't going to have a mainline rookie card in this set, only a rookie debut, maybe an insert or two. But again, we have a lot of stuff. And if you buy a rookie card, or I should say a um, a box, like a blaster box of update, you're going to get a good rookie in there. I mean, the checklist is so loaded, you're not going to get a quote-unquote dud box ever, I don't think. Now, of course, there's Ellie De La Cruz. We have to see collations, but do we not have an autograph near? Jeez, man. Another no autograph pack. I have not gotten a single autograph in this box yet, and I've opened like half the pack. So I hope I get an autograph. But guys, wrapping this video up, let me know what you guys think about my take on this. Do you think I'm a little exaggerating? I don't think I am. But of course, I, I you know, the, the best part about having an opinion is everyone is entitled to it. So what I say may not be what you think. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think 2018 update or 2022 update will be better than 2018? And I'll see you guys in the next video.